Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a triple Chanel unboxing. And I'm very excited about this video because these items were so impossible to find and I got my hands on them. So yes, and I'm happy to be back here and filming for you guys. And if you guys enjoy um, luxury items and you're new here, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Um, I love to do clothing hauls and luxury hauls, so you guys are gonna love my other videos. Um, but let's get started. So the first item is right in here. Now I purchased this from the Chanel Facebook group and my seller was absolutely lovely, lovely. Um, she really hooked it up with this one. So it comes in this little box and I'm very excited about this one, guys. Okay. Here it is, a Chanel brooch. This one is with the gold, it's like a light gold with the um, leather. And let me just get it out to show you guys. I have not bit the bullet on getting a brooch because I was just like afraid that I wouldn't use it. Wow, I really don't know how to get this out. Oh, okay. Um, so here it is. Now, to find this on the pre-love market, it like I couldn't find any under 500. Um, I believe this was 465. And look how gorgeous it is. Um, I'm gonna wear it literally with anything. Probably not with something like this, but um, most of my clothes are, or most of my style is like a very chill and comfy kind of vibe but i do like to get dressed up obviously and i think that this is going to look really really good on denim jacket blazers um you can even put it on a hat or my friend amy put her, one of hers on a necklace i thought that was really cool so it definitely has um different functions to it it's gorgeous and if you can get your hands on it go for it it actually retails for 375 but it's impossible to find anywhere like i literally searched the boutique like i called the chanel 1-800 number and i called for weeks and there was nothing so very excited about this if you guys own a brooch let me know if you wear it and get your use out of it i'd love to know so that's item number one and then sorry guys my camera cut out um so the next item and this is from the 20 C? Wait, 20C or 20S? Actually, I think it's the 20S. Um, the 2020 Spring Summer Collection. And holy cow, you guys, this is impossible to find. This is considered a unicorn. Um, I really don't like that term, to be honest with you, but whatever. Um, basically, I tried every single personal shopper you can even imagine. Nobody can find it does it wasn't um produced in the united states so my friend maria hi maria i know you're watching because you're one of my favorites and you are like one of my number one supporters um maria sent me her personal shopper joshua who is in london and he was able to score this for me so without further ado let's open up shall we guys this color is no, I don't think you understand. I really don't think you understand. Holy crap, you guys. The purple from the 20S collection. Guys, if I'm wrong and it's the 20C, I'm sorry, but I think it's the 20S. Um, but holy cow, this color is insanity. It is like almost impossible to show its true color. I think it's coming up a little different on camera, but this is the mini O case, impossible to find. Um, it comes with the light gold hardware. There is a little CC logo right there. And I've been wanting an O case for a really long time. However, I really did want it in a color because I feel like it's a fun way to add some color to my little collection um and yes holy cow you guys this is so damn cute i haven't had time to play around with it um but my next item 
is putting this in question. Now, just keep on watching so you can see what I mean. Let's open that up. And my beautiful friend, Nora, who is a Nordstrom's essay, um, found this for me. And here she is. Holy cow, guys. Look at this freaking color. It's not even normal. And let me just tell you, I hate purple. Like, if you were to tell me I would own something purple by Chanel, I'd be like, you're nuts. Um, so here is the mini O-case, and then this one is the mini, no, the extra large card holder. It comes with a um, slot in the back, and then it comes with one in the front here, and then it has two gussets. So I have some cash and some cards, and when I first got it, I was a little bit afraid that I wasn't gonna like it because it is kind of wide, and I tend to like to have things that I can fit in all of my bags. I really don't wanna have to change you know, my wallets every time. I normally use a little card holder by YSL as well as a um, mini pochette accessory by Louis Vuitton. Um, but before I was able to get my hands on this, Nora found this for me and I took it and I was just up and down about it. Um, I'm still thinking about selling it, but I'm not 100% sure um, because honestly, I kind of fell in love with it. Like I just, I don't know. I love how it has this back pocket. I love how it has this front little pocket here. So it's just easy. Like I can put my license and my main credit card here and then like another credit card there. I like that it holds some cash. Um, but originally the reason why I purchased it a little SLG is because I wanted it for my cash and my receipts. So that is why the O case was what I was originally looking for. So guys, please let me know what you think. If I had to choose one, cause I don't know if I could keep two purple SLGs. So first of all, let me know if I should keep both. And then also let me know if I'm not gonna keep both, which one should I keep? Yes. So there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video and Please consider subscribing and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.